next moving towards the next one uh, you can get the question of this uh, from this slide uh, what is the difference between non persistent http and persistent http this is this one will be your four marks of question so now let's see what is the meaning of your non persistent http in non persistent http tcp connection is opened so the tcp is going to build the uh, connections in between the client and server but in persistent the tcp connection opened only for the server it will not open for the client side so if the client wants to send any message he cannot build the connections because it will be only for the server so the server is going to open the tcp connection and he is going to send the uh, he is going to build the connection with the client but in non persistent both the sides client and server are open to get the connections tcp connections second point here in the first point itself you can make it as two points second point here at most one object sent over tcp connection here you can send only one object at a time otherwise there will be the congestion you cannot send more than one packets or objects but in this persistent as the server is going to get the connection so the server can send multiple objects by using the single tcp connections here multiple objects can be forwarded to the client side or in between the client and server but by using the single tcp here the tcp connection will get closed once the uh, like uh, all the transmission of the data has done the tcp connection will get closed and downloading multiple objects are required multiple connections if again you want to transfer or upload or download any of the objects you need to give the multiple connections but here what you are going to do is once the tcp connection is closed you are not going to do because already the multiple objects you have been sent in by using the single tcp so in this slide we learned about the two types of http connections that is non persistent http and persistent http so non persistent http client and server both can establish the tcp connection but in persistent only server is going to build the tcp connection in non persistent at only one object is going to send to the tcp connection but in persistent multiple objects are going to send by using single tcp here the tcp once closed if you want to download any of the files multiple times you are going to give the connections but in persistent once the tcp connection is closed before that itself you have already downloaded the files or objects 